So I have this uh, Asian Le Mans Series Rookie of the Year award for Franco Colapinto. He has driven brilliantly throughout the series and the championship. He's had some wonderful drives. He's had two pole positions, many fastest laps. Franco, this is for you. Congratulations. Thank you very Wonderful much driving. Me. Thank you very much to all Asian Le Mans, to G-Drive, to Algarve Pro for the great car and for the opportunity once again. And thank you for all the uh, great talk in the TV. Thank you, Oliver. Thank you, Franco. Hope to see you soon, guys. Team champions in the GT category, the 19 car record entry in 2021 goes to Precut Herbeth Motorsports, debutants in the Asia Le Mans Series Championship, and they take the title with their number 99 car. Two of the three drivers are with us. Uh, Ralph Byrne, that was very close throughout the season. The Porsche, clearly a very strong package, but how tough was that to, to win this title? Well, you're right. First of all, it was a great experience for us to join the Asian Le Mans Series. And, uh... You're right, it was very close in the end, so uh, all the races have been different. Sometimes uh, we are unlucky, sometimes the other ones uh, are unlucky, but in the end we managed to do so all the four races. Uh, to Robert Renard, Robert, this is proudly a family-run team, and you told me earlier this week one of the dreams for the family is to take the team to the Le Mans 24 hours. You now have that opportunity. Do we expect the team to be taking up the entry? For sure, we will take it. Um, it's our first time going to Le Mans for me and my brother and especially for um, our teammate Ralph. Um, so we are very proud of this effort for the whole team and um, yeah, it was great fun joining this championship and hope we come back next year. We do too. Thank you very much indeed. That is the GT Championship winning team and the Asian Le Mans Series Team of the Year, Precoat Herbeth Motorsport. LMP3 champions, United Autosports, yet another international championship for the team from Yorkshire in the UK and delighted to represent them in the 23 car that took the championship, three wins out of four from Venezuela, Manuel Maldonado. Manuel, what a great thing uh, to be part of this fantastic team at a time when just success keeps coming their way. Yeah, absolutely, Graham. Thank you for having me here. Over the moon with the team, uh, amazing debut with them. Uh, to take three wins out of the four and uh, yesterday was a DNF for us so we made it just a little bit more exciting in today's race but yeah like I say over the moon the team has done a fantastic job everyone got to thank the whole team and especially Richard you know for giving me this opportunity to come out here and definitely I think uh, we did well. It's a new venture for you into sports car racing more to come in Europe of course Are you enjoying this? Yeah absolutely you know this new world for me is amazing uh, I didn't really know what I was coming to you know coming from single seaters to this but I think yeah Definitely falling in love with it and uh, the results just made it a, a little bit sweeter. So we'll be seeing a lot more of Manuel Maldonado. We'll certainly be seeing a lot more of United Autosports LMP3 champions in Asia to follow on from their LMP3 championship in Europe last year. Championship winners for the Asia Le Mans Series 2021. That goes to G-Drive Racing, joined by Ife Ye from the 26 car. What a season and your very first season in LMP2. Ife, just sum up your feelings after these four very intense races? First of all, I have to thank um, G-Drive Racing and Algarve Pro Racing for preparing the car and for the perfect operation. Uh, congratulations to the Jota crew uh, this weekend for taking double victories and congratulations to our sister sister car for yeah, the great performance throughout the championship. Yeah, uh, and to my teammates, obviously, uh, we have done a fantastic job from Dubai and yeah, wasn't the luckiest uh, weekend, I think. Yesterday, screwed over to full cross yellow by timing and today, a bit unlucky pit stop in, in, the, in the beginning. But yeah, at the end, we take the title, which is the most important. And we haven't had a single scratch on the car since the first outing in Dubai. So very happy about that and thanks to everyone. You got to celebrate race wins. You now get to celebrate a championship win. How does that feel? Yeah, I think it's a fantastic result for the whole team. We have shown we have good pace, good pace and good operation. And for me personally, um, I jumped in the sports car last, last week for the first time. And here we are already champion of the championship. So very happy about then, that and we see uh, what the future brings. Thank you very much, Yifei. Thank you.